all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and in this video we're going to be talking about how we can expand and collapse the notes okay so this is right now you're seeing on my screen it's looking a little different because i just changed the position of the notes so it looks uh, totally different that it's coming in the square and you see the disconnection like the delete of the edges is somewhere else like it's between these uh, this node and the between this pointer not like coming directly and the also edges are not coming directly from the nodes just taking a square and then and coming to the another node so it's totally different so this happened just changing the code over here if i show you in the index.js so i hope you remember if you're following me from the beginning like how i made all these changes so if you are following so you need to change the direction over here if i make it tb like the top to bottom so it's gonna be changed and if you make it from lr left to right so it's gonna be different alignment so right now it is lr but we're gonna make it to tb like the top to bottom so let me just change it so i'm just gonna be making tb be. okay and let's see it's going to be changing or not so you see automatically it has been changed and edges are connected differently so that's kind of alignment i have already done it so you can find it over there now we're going to be discussing about the expand and collapse property into this video so i have already made the changes into the code i'm going to be walking you through with that but the main thing i just want to show you the functionality how it works and little bit code we're going to be writing over here on this video as well so let's let's look at it so first i'm just going to be let's reloading the page if i click on element four so you see it's expanding oh i hope it's changing the position of the nose just because of that they, it's not able to find the width on that side so changing the position of it so node is coming in this way because it has to extend the width of the layout area so right now it's not flexible but that's why it's changing the position and auto layouting the thing so that i have implemented auto layouting so it's not remaining at the same point so you see element 4 is being expanded with the other nodes so that there are three nodes i have added into the object as a child node and those are being added over here and element 2 has been expanded with the one only like one node only okay so this is on child node let me click on the element 3 so there are uh, there are two nodes in the element 3 and if i show you the object and data structure of it so you will understand how it is working okay so let me just reload and if i click on the element 4 so you see element 4 has been expanded i click on element 3 element 3 has been expanded properly and element 2 so you see the element 2 is expanded with the one node okay so this is a child node now what we have to implement into this video like when we click on again let's suppose i click on again so it's adding another node like as an add node but it has to collapse that like it has to remove nodes and then it will look as it is like it was looking earlier okay so that's kind of thing we have to do so let me walk you through with that how i implemented this we can like uh, modernize this code and make a little bit better but this is the whole functionality gonna be that's how we are going to implement this one okay so just reduce the talking part and let's go to the code base and check it out okay so first of all i'm just gonna be showing you like where i have done the changes so i first of all i design the data okay so how the data gonna be so this is my raw data okay where your all the nodes and their children exist so let's suppose you are fetching one api call and into that you are getting all the elements in the flat array there would not be any like children on parent kind of combination like you have a parent element and inside that you have a children uh re rest of the other children's and then rest of the other children so it's not like the three kind of structure coming over here so always if you want to receive if you receive any data from the api so make sure you should be receiving the flat array because that will enhance your like response time and all those things so mostly people they just uh, uh, send the flat array and the ui side you have to just uh, schematize the data passing into the functions and then you can modify the data object okay so i just took an example of like taking a flat array but if you get it automatically modularized array like the parent and child combination so it would be very easy for you okay so this is the flat array i have also i have assigned the parent into it if you can see parent element three element two and element four like this so i already have a parent element so if you go over here at the top so beginning the data modularized Data, I already have it like in the earlier video if you see there so you will find the how I have modified the data object and all so already the data exists but these data also going to be coming inside this raw data and then you have to find the parent element and the child element and connect all of these all together so that's the kind of thing you have to do and that's going to be like this is a kind of a exercise for you if you try to do it by yourself so you can do it you need to have the parent element inside this and also the child element all together and then you have to find the parent element first and put it all together 
together at the top and after that you have to find the child element once you click on the parent element it's going to be fetching the child element from that flat array by the using the parent element id over here and then it's going to be presenting on the screen okay so that's kind of thing so we already have the parents mapped over there on the ui side we just need to click on that and when you click on the next so you receive a one click handler which is called node click okay so we already have in passing through that draggable box component so over here you have the drag on handle click node so whenever you click on any node so one of the node we have add node so we're gonna be just uh, removing that is keeping that part from that and we're gonna be taking another one like which is not kind of end node and if you click on any node it will take the handler back to the main function where index.js like here we are just taking all the nodes array and modifying the data object like uh, pushing the data finding the data from the flat array as if, if it's not a parent it's a it's a kind of child so we're gonna be finding it and then putting it into the parent and then it's gonna be mapped over there okay so that's kind of thing so it comes over here like so i am modifying it so handle click node so this is the function is being called from the draggable box.js okay and after that it comes over here i'm trying to find it by the id i find the element and i check there is a child exists inside that element okay so i need to map it if child doesn't exist just map the child element and put it over there if the child exists don't map it okay so that's kind of thing we have to do so once you don't map it so it's going to be removed from the screen and then you will see like it has been collapsed and once you are going to be adding those child element inside the parent element so it's going to be showing you in the screen like uh, it's expanding okay so that's kind of thing so i'm mapping the child element i'm finding the child element from the raw data over here you see the raw data and then i'm finding it and then i'm mapping all those elements and creating the node object of it like it can be mapped properly on the screen okay so you see this is the default behavior of the node object and i'm passing all these things also don't have to calculate the position of it as well like uh, i was doing earlier in the add node object but i don't have to do that over here i just need to pass all the items like map it and pass all the items inside this get layout elements and if you see over here once it get passed it will return me the layout in node and edges and then you have to set it and show it on the screen that's it it's very easy implementation okay so you just need to create an object and pass it inside this function and the function rest of the things the function will be taking care of so you don't have to do much things over here so this is the kind of thing i'm doing i hope you understand this so this is the only function written by me and this i just pass it like if i have to find the child element so i connected all the child element with the parent and that's it so this is what it is showing you once you click on it element 3 it will just go over there find the, all the child element related to element 3 map it create the object and just put it over there also the create i'm creating the edges also so the shores always going to be the parent element and the child going to be as a target element so that's what you have to map it and put it into the layout edges as well so i'm creating the new edges so new edges if you see new edges dot push source id always going to be parent id and the target id going to be your child element whatever the child elements you have so it's going to be your uh, target elements okay so that's how it's it's going to be mapped and if you have child or other child inside of it so you can map like that and it's going to be once you click on that it's going to be representing other children elements into that so now we have to write it for the collapse one so let's do this okay all right so we already have this function okay so we are finding over here so let's just do one thing just uh, check it okay so we need to find element so we are already logging the element over here okay so let's open the inspect element and so log over here so you have the element and once you click on the element so you find the situation and dot child so inside the child you'll find the elements okay so we need to check element the situation dot child does have any length okay so you can check by another way like if you know about the low dash library so you can just check it by checking the size of it and then it will work for you so just put it inside this okay so if you don't have element length so it's going to be expanding it otherwise we need to collapse it okay so just else the what we have to do just find all the children's cons children's equals to element just copy this whole part <laughs> copy this whole part over here that's it <coughs> okay console dot log and children's okay so this is our children's gonna be logged over here for the parent element but we need to push those children first into the parent element so already the child's are being mapped over here so let's do one thing okay so we have the nodes over here so what i can do nodes dot for each okay items over here if items dot id equals to element dot id so what we're gonna do we're gonna be pushing all the child elements inside of that okay okay so let's push it items dot situation dot child equals 
equals to map okay map child's child's comma id so this is the lotus library you can map it like this and it will just get the ids from there and put it inside this okay and i hope it should work what the error we are getting over here okay so we cannot use this way <laughs> okay so we cannot use the optional chaining into the assigning side on the left side of the assignments you can always use on the right side of it so that's the one problem that's why it was throwing errors. so make sure okay so now we have the children's okay let's reload the page okay once we click on the element four okay so it's going to be expanding it it should be expanding right uh there's a problem error okay so elements are coming so let me just expand it oh it's not being expanded oh okay so the, it's not being expanded just because there is already the add node as a children exists inside this node so that's where the problem is coming so there is add node as a children already exists inside each and every node so that it will always gonna count the length of it as a one so that's why it's not executing this whole code code over here which is written so that's why it's not expanding now so we need to figure it out like how we can remove that problem so it will also count the end node as well okay so that's one thing we have to do so let me just um, take a look okay so what i'm going to do now i'm not going to be touching this child element over here so let it remain as it is we're going to be figuring out like something else about this okay so how we're going to be keeping the end node as well with all together or we have to remove it so we're going to be taking a look later about that so we're going to be just creating another object like another name Name it children directly inside the element over here so let's go over here in the data object and just create children's element children's key also children's uh children's and as it is like this and just copy it and paste it everywhere so control c and just put it over here okay so we just need to keep it like this and after that just go over here and uh, children's and then uh, okay so we're going to be checking every time if the children exist so that's it and if the children doesn't exist then uh uh, it has to be expanded okay so let's go over here and expand it okay and also our like item uh, size and also the previous video we checked it so that also worked into that one so you can use that okay so if you expand it and now if i click on it again so it's not expanding again or adding another notes because it's already filled in with the data and you see all the elements are coming over here so what we need to do we just need to find these elements from the array and just remove those okay so that's what we have to do so let's go over here into this one into the else condition over here else condition cons filter nodes equals to filter just put the filters and the nodes comma item okay over here and just to includes uh include element dot children's okay and comma item dot id okay and just put the not over here so it will check if any item dot id does not get included into the element your children so it has to be just get filter out okay so we're going to be removing only those element which are coming into this children's okay so that's it okay so just like put it like this and filter nodes gonna be our new node so if you see this one so we just gonna be rewriting this code again over here okay and it's gonna be working so filter nodes gonna be added over here nodes we're gonna be removing the nodes and just remove the new nodes as well so just put the filter nodes only and the connections so same we have to do for the connections as well so you need to find the connections and just remove those okay so any target id is matching with the items it's gonna be removing those that's it okay it's coming so filtered connection just put it over here put it over here and remove these okay i think it should be good and let's check it out on the screen how it looks like okay so it's working or not so that's we need to figure it out okay so we are over here so when we expand so this is not uh, perfect we need to work on the layouting thing as well okay so if you click on this okay so expanding nodes are expanding if you click on this again so it's collapsing okay so notes are being removed but the problem is that edges and all these are uh, things getting distorted so it's kind of problem okay so, okay the problem is that like uh, if you see i have not included the exclamation mark over there because it has to check if the item if any item is being included into this that should be removed from our filtered connection list okay so it should not include this item into this children and then come into this filtered element so we have to filter only those items so this was not included that's why i was having the issue but there is one more problem i find so let me just reload the page and if i expand the let's suppose element 3 over here so it's being expanded now if i just click on this do you see the notes are being removed 
removed from here also the connection related to that but the connection about this add node which are getting added at the end of this child node those are not being removed from here so that's the problem so we need to remove this child node as well like the add nodes as well and their connection too so that's not being removed that's why the problem is coming so we need to write some more code to removing those things and then it's going to be sorted out so just let me write this code and i'm come back to you in a while okay so the problem is fixed now so the what the change i did for that like end nodes was not being removed from the screen after collapsing so the thing is that we had to remove those children elements inside those child elements as well so what i did i'm just finding those children elements inside the child elements like their array of ids and also i'm just concatenating like uh, just putting in some same children element over here and after that when we are filtering the nodes so at that time both the children and their children as well the, all the id came together inside and then when it goes over here it unchecked one by one so all the nodes are being filtered over here and after that you just put it over there and for set and after that it's all good so if you go on the screen now so you see if i expand the element number three over here so it's being expanded once i just click on it it's will really removed so all the nodes have been removed so that's the kind of thing from strategy i was talking about and it's kind of cool it's done same for element 4 as well if i expand it it's expanded and now if i click on it so it's going to be removed so only one add node you have it okay so rest of the others has been removed and we can enhance it a little more on the ui basis so that's the kind of thing i'm going to be like modifying the code and doing some more changes so it's going to be look, looking better but this is the whole scenario and the whole logic going to be behind this okay to expand and collapse so you can expand the node so if i click on it expand so if i click on it it should be expanding again so it's not being expanded just because now the problem is that the children should be removed from the parent elements too so that's not being removed so what we can do over here okay so else else if so we need to write else if condition over here so let me just write it all right so when i click on this okay and i just click on this so it's going to be removed if i click on it again so it's going to be expanding again so how this is happening so let's go back over here and you see the code so when i'm doing like children so i'm passing the children's inside like children's of children's i'm passing in a list over here for checking so those has to be filtered and another is also i'm setting the parent element like i'm checking if the parent element id is equal to element dot id if any element find like this element id so those children has to be removed like so those children should be empty so it should not be saved over here so when you set it it has to map inside this and when you remove it so it has to be removed from here so the ones you're going to come back again and check over here so it should be zero then it's going to be mapped otherwise it's not so that's another thing i have done over here and all looks good so let's go on the screen and if you try to expand it collapse it everything should work okay so if i try to expand it we're gonna click on it expand it collapse it collapse again expand it again expand it so that's the kind of thing and it's working cool so that's it from this video and i'm gonna be seeing you guys next video with new topic maybe it's gonna be related to this one so we're gonna be continuing this series but parallelly i'm gonna be uploading some other tech related videos as well so let me know if you need some more different kind of behavior or different kind of scenarios in this project or in this library, in this kind of feature. So just do let me know. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.